Okay, let's make some pork chops. This is not gonna be our main dish. I mean, what I was planning to cook today, but the boys are hungry. <clears throat> And I have this giant pack of pork chops. So what we're gonna do, I'm preheating the oven. It should be about 375, my oven does 370 and 390. I don't know why the settings, so I'm gonna do it at 390. I'm gonna preheat it for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, as you can see, I'm beating an egg. Um, we got um, just your simple Kroger Italian seasoning. Very simple. This is one of those recipes that make sure you wash your hands if you're gonna handle the pork with your bare hands. Obviously, I don't have to tell you all about bacteria. So, let's open this giant thing of pork. Okay, so I'm gonna wet it just a little bit. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna wet it a little bit and then I'm gonna dry them off. I just wanna make sure that I don't trust um, the Kroger's cutting uh, machine, so slicing machine. Okay, 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 that's enough. Okay. So I'm gonna take a board right here and we're gonna put them out there. And I want moisture off of them. So let me see for a second. One, so we can put about five or six, maybe a little bit more. So we'll see, maybe one more. Now the rest of the pork chops, I might refrigerate or freeze it and we might uh, uh, we might use them for later time. <clears throat> the other thing that I was thinking that I might create like a stir fried pork with ginger because I have excess ginger. So give me just a second. And once again, this is the fluffy Russian kitchen. So, and I'm just using paper towel. I opened a brand new pack, so obviously it would be clean and I'm getting the any excess moisture off of them. We don't need this. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the pork chop in the egg wash. I'm gonna get any excess eggs off of it and I'm gonna put it in the seasoning. Um, if you want to make your own seasoning, it's very simple, just crackers, you can make your own crackers by drying bread um, and then crushing it or you can just buy crackers and then crush them up and it will season. However, I find that Kroger makes fine seasoning and with herbs and spices, it's fairly cheap, they're as cheap as $99. Now, I'm feeding a family of three, just me and my boys, and my dad who is recording this, you can obviously cook a lot more pork chops in. I have a regular oven, but I prefer this little oven much better because the heat is even inside. Um, I find that that's, it cooks a lot better in that oven, so. By the way, I'm gonna praise the oven while I'm while well, I'm coating the pork chops. Um, this is uh, called a home oven. You can get it at Amazon for around $80. It is probably the best oven you can get for the money. Um, it will rotisserie, it will uh, toast, it will bake. It has every function that you need for cooking. Um, it's fully computerized. Um, absolutely amazing, the best $80. Now, if you go up to brands like Breville, um, if you go up to brands like Panasonic, you can spend in excess of three, four $400. However, again, I'm, this is just me and the boys, and the function of this oven is amazing, absolutely amazing. All right, so I guessed it right, so we can do about six pork chops here. Now, the excess pork, again, you can either freeze it for later time, um, I do not recommend freezing um, for obvious reasons because the meat doesn't taste the same. Um, or you can, give me just a second, or you can use some, you know, you can stir fry it, you can make soup out of it, um, you can beat your pork chops uh, to tenderize them and then use them, use those to pan fry them, whatever you want to do with them. So I have about 
six more pork chops and I have to decide what to do with it. All right, our pork chops are ready. I'm gonna put them in the oven. Um, and we're gonna let them cook for about 20 minutes because I don't have a bone. It should be fairly quick. So I'm thinking about 20 minutes or so, okay? So let's put them in the oven. Uh, they're not covered. I don't want them to be covered. I'm gonna set them in the oven. The temperature is perfect. And we're gonna let them cook. So. And we will be back. We're gonna make our main dish, which will be scalloped potatoes. And we'll be back with that once I pre-cut everything because nobody wants to see me cutting.